What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla and if you are new here be sure to hit that subscribe button. I try to make creative videos when I can. I really enjoyed the detective stories part one. It was called Isabel. Uh, these are both by Wart Andrew so you should definitely check out the first one so uh, you can follow the storyline and so you can kind of figure out what's going on here. Uh, they're really good maps so I will leave the map code to both of the maps down below. I recorded this yesterday, but there was problems with my mic, so I do already know how to complete this. Uh, there are two ways, I believe. Might be more. I'm not sure. But yeah, if you guys want to follow along, then just boot up your game. Uh, if not, you can just skip through to any part that you are having trouble with. Anyways, we are going to uh, jump right into Detective Stories 2, Anna. Alright, so before we start the game, there's like a little uh, summary of the story so far. So, uh, you are Lieutenant Jordan Justice working for police enforcement in Richmond, San Francisco. Isabel disappeared from her apartment. Clues led to a warehouse owned by Sunshine Consulting LLC. There, Jordan was put to a series of challenges, which he overcame, freeing Isabel. However, a mysterious figure called Mr. Twist, who was the real culprit, paid Isabel to leave the country. This happened five days after she was saved. So definitely make sure you do check out the first one first. I also have a video on it as well, just so you guys know what's going on. Alright, so we only have four lives, so we need to pay close attention uh, to all the details, make sure we don't get any of the answers wrong. Uh, some clues are intertwined with the first detective stories, Isabel. So you can go to at Andrew on Twitter and find the code or I'll leave it in the description for you. Also, if you have the ability, uh, you should play it with Epic Shadows. I do not have that ability as I am playing on Xbox. Um, I'm very bad with words, sometimes very bad with speaking, kind of shy. So bear with me if I mispronounce anything wrong, if I stumble on my words, and yeah. So, Presidio of San Francisco, Sunday, February 15th, 1998. Dispatch found the car of the victim that was reported missing earlier today. We were called to investigate. So we we're going to go into Compton Road. So we're just going to look around for any clues. Um, so clues would be like writing. So. This says tracks indicate sudden heavy braking. The stopping range and depth of tracks indicates ha uh, low speed before brakes were initiated. So it seems as though um, she wasn't going fast enough to brake uh, fast, as if like somebody was in front of her or she was about to be in an accident or anything. Uh, in the trunk, there are traces of sawdust and there is an odor of spilled alcohol. The car didn't have time to gather snow, so it hasn't been here very long. Glove compartment has a discount card for a store that sells outdoor tools. Name on the card is Anna Gordeman. The engine is cold, so it has been here for a bit. Um, that's her car left in the middle of the street. What made her stop so abruptly? A wallet with an ID left in the car seat. Anna Gordeman. Footprints in the snow. Cannot tell what shoe size. Um, tips. Make sure you use your police notes. You can see them by pressing the map button. So if we press uh, police notes or map button, it kind of tells you a little summary about her name, where she's from, where she lives, um, shoe size, age, characteristics. So like she's an alcohol addiction, uh, she's a control freak, she's 32 years old, all that good stuff. Alright, so in here there is a children's swing, but the uh, swings are missing. That could just be because it is winter time and you usually don't go outside or go to the park, I guess. <laughs> Nothing interesting inside. Planters probably use when the weather is better. So if you go come across this car and you go behind it, there we go. There's like a button or something, a sensor maybe. And anyways, uh, you get another, you get a testimony. 
So it says someone was here. I'd better find them so I can ask if they saw the victim get away. Testimony unlocked. Spike Holland. Tip. Testimonies are shown after the investigation is over. So there's a little building here. We're going to go read what it says in here. Cardboard boxes. Empty. No remnants or traces of anything inside. Uh, can't make out what it says. There are various rusty keys inside the box. Lots of empty water bottles. Seems like the leftovers of a closed down store. The fluorescent green screen makes the cash register appear functional, but it's just a reflection of the light. All right, I don't see, oh, what is this? A worn flyer, it reads, you only live once, travel with us, the Caribbean awaits, but why should you, safe trip cruise line. So maybe she was planning a cruise or something. That might be a hint or a clue. Cannot open. Frame must be swollen from the temperature. This door is locked. But what we can do is jump on the trash can. Under the pipes over the wall. And we're going to go into this building. Uh, various dossier containing information on police officers. They also have face pictures. Boarded up windows. Someone is hiding something here. A printer seems to be used a lot. Some sort of schematics. Many uh, technical symbols, but it looks industrial. There are also pages showing a large area separated by small rooms. In the bottom right section, it is written Stage 2. Dereeder, a famous but rare gin. Someone must have taken a liking in that. This is what provides this room with an aroma, a bad aroma. So she's got some trash in there. Various paperwork. Among the files, there are bulk payments for tools and various uh, mechanical equipment. A cooler, empty. Footprints, shoe size 11, also traces of sawdust. All right, so I think we've uh, pretty much covered everything in this room. So we're going to go back and we're going to answer some questions, see how far we can get. Alright, so we're going to end investigation. Some clues may be used later in the scenario, so hopefully you guys have a good memory. If not, I'm here to help. So this is our testimony from the car, uh, Spike Holland. I was shoveling snow out of my car, then I saw a car stop in the road. A lady walked out of it and slowly went to the house near the bushes. I was baffled by how awkward this felt. I went closer to the car to see what happened. There was no one else around. So it seems that she just left her car there. So we're just going to keep going in. Did Anna panic and leave her car as a result? No, she didn't. According to all of our clues so far. The testimony reported her walking calmly to her destination. But why leave the car in the middle of the street? Where did Anna go? A closed down store or a hideout? She went to a hideout. There was a lot of planning and filing happening in that hideout, but for what? Where should I investigate next? We're going to go to Anna's country house, of course. We need to see if there's any evidence or anything there. We proceeded to Anna's last known location, her country house. Maybe we can find more information there. So 132 Buena Vista Avenue, if you look at your police notes, it says in the notes that is where she lives. So we're just going to look around. Um, you can't go outside. Probably use when the weather is warm. What's this? A hidden button. What are you hiding, Anna? So we're going to interact with that button. Let's see. The fridge has various beers and snacks. None seem to be expired yet. Breakfast still seems fresh. A tape is playing. It shows a family playing in the yard. Seems it's this country house. But wait, the parents. They are the same as the couple shown on the TVs in Isabel's case. How are they connected? Various books on civil engineering and history. Some strong liquor, Mamal Dereeder, and an un unlabeled bottle which burns on the nose. So she's been leaving bottles of gin around. Not my type of art. 
So this little place opened up when we hit that button. So we're going to go in here. Various random objects, probably Anna's mementos. Some have a name written, Anna Red House. Some sort of engineering plan about a device similar to the one I encountered in the Sunshine Consulting LLC warehouse. There is also a blueprint detailing a secret button device under a drafting table like this one, but the room looks wooden and boarded up. Lastly, there is a sketch of a coffin placed on a pillar. There is an arrow pointing on it and the word empty. So these are very crucial details, let's make sure we remember those. Shoes, counting their size, it's 11. There is hay in the inside towards the front. Bags of hay. Cog saws, hydraulic pumps, various mechanical parts. Judging from the rust, I don't think this gate has ever been used. Probably a leftover garage exit. Various tax papers in the drawers. Wait, the name on the papers is Anna Redhouse? Did she have her last name changed? Television, deja vu. Footsteps, shoe size 8 and 11. Alright, so. We've got all of our details about her house. Uh, oh, I think she likes blue a lot. Curtains, beds, paintings. So her bed's blue, her curtain's blue, and the painting downstairs is also blue. Uh, the designs here are totally different from the ones from the hideout. So we're not in end the investigation. Let's go see how much we can remember. Did Anna disappear willingly? Yes, I think she did. So all clues seem like she wasn't forced or abducted. She disappeared on her own will. Was Anna involved in Isabel's disappearance? Yes, she was. So it seems that Anna designed the traps in Sunshine Consulting LLC warehouse that I found Isabel. Question is, was it by force? So Anna lost her parents, but why would that make her a target? Is Mr. Twist trying to show us something? Where should I investigate next? We're going to go to Compton Road. So that sketch in the drafting table, it shows a hidden button in that hideout I previously found. All I have to do is find that secret entrance as described in the schematics I found in the country house. Compton Road. Alright, here we are again. What did I miss? So we're just gonna run in here. And these are really cool features that he's put in here. I really like these. You just stand right here. And it blows up the door. So uh, over here it says, There, I found a secret button. More traces of sawdust on the floor. Okay. Such elaborate construction, I can't believe no one noticed this before. Bingo! This is where Anna went after leaving her car. Let's see what this strange place is. I guess this is where all the sawdust comes from. Cutting wood to create this room would take weeks in the least. Hmm, this is new. I suppose the fans are there to deny access. So we just have to, um, filled with sawdust, could have guessed. We just have to go turn off the switches to turn the fans off so we can access a secret location. So this one enables the green power line, so we're going to hit that one, which is going to allow us, oh, we're going to go down here, and we're going to interact with that one, oh. and then gonna have these ones over here turned off so we're gonna go in here and enable the red I'm pretty I'm probably there's probably like a better way to do this but this is how I do it so the reds back on so we're gonna disable the red from here and go behind A diary, it reads, 8th of February, reported Isabel's disappearance. They'll start searching her apartment now. With a marker, it is also written below. Make sure to turn on the camera feeds. Not sure if I want to believe this after all. Someone wanted me to find this. 
This area is identical in style to Sunshine Consulting LLC. Are these Anna's challenges? This again, I have to be careful. So we're gonna flick the switch to this one. And then we're gonna flip this switch and we have to jump back down to flick this one on again because the very top one turns off when we switch this one on. So we're gonna make our way to the top. All right, there we go. Wait, how did this get here? I don't understand. Here we go again. TV occasionally shows footage from a street camera. Lots of cars are gathered, but cannot see much. Mr. Twist has been awfully silent lately. I wonder what he is trying to show me now. So we're just gonna look around the car, okay. So, this one took me a long time yesterday to figure it out. Um, so in different parts of this place, there's uh, notes. That's a malt, brandly, jockey, and graphy, I think it is. So when I did my video yesterday, I already written them down. Uh, but if you want to take the time to find the notes, then you could go ahead and pause this and then come back when you have found them all. But I'm just going to tell you uh, left equals malt, right equals brandly, straight equals jockey, and double down is graphy. So we are going to take a left, take a right. Then we're going to go straight, and now we're going to go down two layers. So what I do is I just walk there and down here. So we're going to go through this door. Like I said, if you wanted to take the time to um, actually find the notes, then you can go for it. I just uh, already took the time to do that yesterday, and it took me a long time. So I really don't want to try to do it again. All right. Now that's a stretch. Could the, uh, What could this mean? Guess it's like last time. Alright, same footage again. A bit clearer now. I can see there has been an accident. Lots of debris around. There's a street sign closed, but I can't make what it says. I wish I could sit and wait this out, but lives are at stake. Various trash mixed with lots of sawdust. Note 2 out of 3. Plastic containers. They are filled with varnish, probably for wood restoration. Hi Jordan, I have been patiently waiting for you. So we're gonna drop down. Okay, this one was really fun. It did take me a while to figure it all out, but we have a 10 minute timer. We have to solve riddles. I have two hands, a round face. I always run, but stay in place. What am I? You are a clock. We're gonna hit the switch to reveal another riddle. We are 30 men and two women, dressed in black and white. We can fight for hours without using our hands. What are we? You are checkers or chess? I don't know. Checkers, I think? Grab the note. I belong to you, yet I am used more by others. What am I? You are my name, which is Jordan. We're gonna grab this note. I have no eyes, yet I can see forever. I create memories even though I cannot remember. What am I? You are a camera, which is on the shelf over here. Open the door. So this is a patch door, but we've got it open. Hmm. Knowing Mr. Twist, he would have placed a television here showing the final footage of that car accident. What gives? Officer Jordan, this is dispatch. Do you copy? Copy dispatch. This is Lieutenant Jordan. Labs found fingerprints on Isabel's letter, and they belong to the victim of your case, Anna Gordeman, which was also the sole testimony for Isabel's disappearance. Sergeant Hawkins took the liberty to ask for a warrant to investigate Anna's apartment in 17th Ave. Copy dispatch. Keep me up to date. I have found a solid lead on her. Pursuing now. Copy Lieutenant Jordan. Backup is on its way. Dispatch out. This is not looking good for Anna. Is she the victim? Or is she the perpetrator? There's only one way to find out. I should be getting close. I heard you were looking for a TV. Well, let's do this right, shall we? Three out of three. This must be the last of Mr. Twist's puzzles. Let's see how good of a detective you are. 
Choose right, get one step closer to Anna. Choose wrong, and 3048 lasers will fry you. What is Anna's favorite color? Her country house was filled with blue. I knew you had it in you, Jordan. Her country house was full of blue. When was Anna born? Police notes are handy, aren't they? And now for the million dollar question. Leave Anna, save Pilar, break the pillar, free Anna. We're gonna leave Anna. Oh wait. Uh, similar MO to Isabel's case, a coffin and a beer, uh, burial that describes the victim's line of work. The coffin has no holes or cracks I can't see inside. Here lies Anna, the pillar of our community. So we can remember Isabel wasn't in her coffin, so we're going to say Anna's not either. We're going to save Pilar. At that moment, I knew Anna was not the victim. She was the one plotting all this. All information leads to her. The fake footprints, the fake testimony, the fake apartment. It was all a trap to get me and the rest of the police. Seems somehow relates to her parents passing away at Cinema Majestic. I have to look into that as soon as possible. But first, dispatch, this is Lieutenant Jordan. There's a bomb in Anna's apartment. Evacuate everyone immediately. After this, I found an exit and went back to the police station. I looked at the mugging at Cinema Majestic and I found the missing piece. Lieutenant Travis was at the scene. He was nearby in his car. He only noticed when the mugger had run away because of the children screaming. Jenna and Ben Redhouse passed away that day after the mugger attacked them. Their children, Anna and Ian Redhouse, managed to escape. This makes the motive of Anna clear. She is taking revenge on police for losing her parents. She blames Lieutenant Travis for not stopping the mugger in time. Lieutenant Travis Justice, my father. She is Mr. Twist, a name to further confuse us. She plotted Isabel's disappearance too. She was the one living right next to her apartment. We also found Anna's fingerprints on Isabel's letter. She gave us a false testimony to confuse us and added footprints from a 11 size shoe, which wore using hay again to confuse us. But I won't fall for her tricks this time. This time I am becoming the hunter. Time is crucial. She must still be close. What should I search for? We should search a liquor store because that was common. She would leave gin. All this time you have been mocking my ability to investigate, but you made one error. The booze you left in every location. You are a drinker, Anna. Drinker, Anna. Have proven since the beginning. You think I wouldn't notice? God, I'm bleh. All locations have only one liquor store in the vicinity. Let's see. Buy all mini market. Various magazines, all about boy bands for some reason. I guess it's a new trend. I don't think there's anything useful here. Check the shelves. Strawberry. Now that's my jam. Liquor. Gin bottles are missing. Cans of paint. Strange to be sold here, but not gonna judge. This new thing called Mosta. Looks interesting. Labeled as energy drink. Not sure what that means. Maybe it's like coffee. More boy bands. Yay! Healthy snacks. Who are they kidding? Not really what I'm looking for. Shovels must be selling like crazy this time of season. Deodorants. Making the world a smellier place. This is always my favorite part of the food market. Gotta love it when people take something and place it back somewhere else. Okay, so these are card numbers with probably a receipt. One margarine, one flavored milk, one tasty cereal, one cottage cheese, one box of chewing gum, two black tape, one sour cream. We're gonna say neither of those are her. Card ends, uh, four ice cream, no. One shovel, one can of yellow paint, no. One can of red paint, two Dorito bottles, which is the gin, one bag of almond chips, one cereal, one canned tuna, one tomato sauce, two iced lemon drinks. We're going to go with the car that ends on 5511. The check up here, make sure nobody is following us. We are clear. 
So we're gonna go in with all of the information that we obtained. Oops. Right, this is it. Anna definitely visit this mini market. I can track her down by finding her credit card. Anna bought gin. This is why you're going to go down, Miss Twist. The Dorita, the rare gin I found in both her hideout and her country house was missing from the shelf. Dispatch, this is Lieutenant Jordan. I want you to track usage of a credit card. The credit card is 551. Right, this card number was the only one that purchased two gin bottles. It's a thin lead, but it's all I've got. All I have to do now is see where this credit card was used and if I am correct. Then we'll finally catch Miss Twist. My office. A report just arrived. Anna was found in a nearby motel and she was arrested for attempted murder of a police officer. Finally, some progress. In the end, they all get what they deserve. Case closed. Solved. All this trouble for what? Anyhow, let's summarize things. Case final verdict. Anna used her civil engineering skills to construct a series of trials. She paid Isabel and planned her disappearance. She wanted to see if I was worthy or negligent. Mm -hmm. Like my father who let her parents fall into the hands of the muckers years ago. I still have some questions I want to ask her. I'll visit her soon. There are gaps in this story. There is something still bugging me. I think there is a reason to believe. God, that scares the crap out of me every time. <laughs> I don't know what it says either. Okay. And this is when I heard it. A long screeching sound followed by a large crash. I was walking on the street at the time and started running towards it. As I was running in the snow in the middle of the night, thoughts came to my head. Scenarios kept building, thinking something has gone wrong. Anna was now in custody, so it was not possible to have been her doing. It must have been some sort of accident. But my mind always connects everything together, even unrelated things. Could this be related? I kept running. I was getting close. I started hearing the sounds of crackling fire. And then I saw something that will change my life forever. 17th Avenue. I saw the man who will become my arch enemy, and this time he was the real deal. This is when I realized that Anna wasn't the perpetrator, she was an accomplice. Ooh, is it her brother? <laughs> Alright. Can't arrest for attempted murder when I'm not the one doing it. Registration papers and manuals have been removed from the glove compartment. A gray car. Looks identical to the one outside Isabel's apartment. This definitely belongs to him. He must have crashed and fled the scene. If only I was here a moment ago. The front part seems to be reinforced. Stainless steel. Probably more than 4 millimeters thick. This car could break any wall and not get a single scratch. Anna's car. Too hot to get close. Seems there was no one inside. This is a message. He wants to tell me Anna is out of the picture. Similar how he did with Isabel. I don't think there's anything else. This marked the beginning of a case that was about to explode out of proportion. Detective Stories Norton, a noir detective story written by Wirt Andrew, coming soon. Ooh, I think we completed it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly get to the part where you can go and save Anna and I'm gonna show you guys what happens there. Uh, yeah, so I'll be right back. All right, so we have gotten back to the part where we can break free Anna. So we're just gonna hit this free Anna button and it blows up the apartments which all the cops are in. That day, Mr. Twist single-handedly destroyed my life and my career. Dispatch, this is Officer Kill. There was an explosion in Anna's apartment. I have three officers down. I repeat, three officers down. Send an ambu- As we can see from the footage sent to our channel, it was Lieutenant Jordan who triggered the bomb planting in Anna's apartment building. He was standing right across the building, spotted by a camera inside the room itself. As the Commissioner of Richmond, I can officially announce that Lieutenant Jordan has stepped down from his rank and will be facing criminal charges for 
negligence and evasion from the police protocol costing the lives of his fellow officers. I suck with big words. <laughs> Mr. Twist's appeal uh, in my sense of heroism and the lack of information misguided me into a trap and now I have to pay the price. We are going to San Francisco County Jail three years later. Boom. Dear Mr. Jordan, this is Anna. I hope this letter finds you rotting in prison like you deserve. My revenge for police negligence is partly complete. The ship waiting for you in the galley, galley today will be my final touch. Unkind regards, Anna Redhouse. The end. At that moment, I knew I've missed something crucial along the way. Critical. Why did I say crucial? This is my life now. For however short it may last. So basically, we save Anna, who isn't actually Mr. or Miss Twist. Uh, we get stuck in jail. So, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, if I missed anything, or you picked up on some clues, or anything of that sort, definitely leave it in the comments below. And yeah, I just want to thank you guys for 300 subscribers. That's crazy. That this first video, the Isabel one, kind of blew up a little bit. Uh, so I really thank you guys for that. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely check out the first part and the second part. Uh, do the first part before you do this part so you know the storyline. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I keep saying thank you. Um, Canadian, A. Eh? Um, anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Later!